experts, participants, partners, and uh, our friends, ladies and uh, gentlemen, welcome you to this uh, symposium on future network car. We're talking about a future network car. We're not uh, talking about the virtual <laughs> network car. But unfortunately, we cannot uh, meet uh, together physically this year. But let me just begin by thanking our co-organizer, UNEC. Our partners with UNEC is key in making this possible. I'm pleased to welcome my colleague, Olga Agarierova, UNEC Executive Secretary and Under Secretary General of UN. I'm glad to welcome my dear friend, Jim Po, President of FIA and the UN Secretary General's Special Envoy for Route Safety. I thank you for your longstanding support to this event and the unique perspective that you bring to our discussions. This year marks the 16th edition of this event. I've been pleased to see more and more intelligent transport entering our daily lives and more and more report on the testing of automated driving in cities around the world. We are not that far anymore. We are moving towards automated driving, our theme this year. Electrification have gathered significantly momentum and new business models are emerging, many of them pioneering new shared mode of transport. The automotive and ICT industries and the many new market segments emerging at their intersection find themselves in need of common platform for growth and innovation. In other words, common standards. International standards help us to deploy new technologies efficiently and at a scale. We are building new partnerships and we are reinforcing this partnership by working together in supporting standards efforts. That is why the IETU membership now includes Volkswagen Group and Yongdae and a diverse range of other automotive industry players, such as RootDB, China's Telematics Industry Alliance, Application Alliance, Continental, Bush, BlackBerry, Tata Communications, and Mitsubishi Electric. IT standards provide for high quality and high security communication in the intelligent transport context. We also have two IT Fox groups leading pre standardization studies of uh, driving tests for artificial intelligence and next generation vehicle infotaining entertainment systems. New technology success in improving road safety will depend on their success in gaining public trust. This week, we will discuss the technical, business, and regulatory actions required to build this public trust, including the new UNEC regulations on cybersecurity, UN Regulation 155, and software updates, UN Regulation 156. Working in a partnership for more than 10 years, ITU and the UNEC have built productive dialogue between our respective communities, helping ITU to develop technical standards in support of vehicle regulations. On Friday, we will host a meeting of the collaboration on ITS, ITS communication standards. All standards bodies relevant to intelligent transport will be represented. This open platform was conceived in 2011, but however, 1TS concept already came to us in 1990s when I was a counselor for CCITD, ITUT study groups together with ISYC. We talked about ITS. But this now continued to grow in importance. We all draw great strengths from this partnership oriented initiative. 
They are essential in clarifying our respective rules in supporting emerging fields of innovation. We are looking towards 2030 and to the achievement of the UN Sustainable Development Goals. Partnerships are growing in importance, working together, playing to our unique strengths. We can achieve breakthroughs capable of creating very meaningful improvements in the quality of life enjoyed by billions of people worldwide. We see extraordinary opportunities to achieve these breakthroughs in mobility. I thank you all for your resolve to make this happen. Let me conclude by thanking our symposium steering committee and the moderators for arranging an excellent program as well as our generous sponsors, Qualcomm and Xperia. Year after year, this event attracts an expert audience deeply invested in this discussion. It is a great pleasure to welcome you all, and I wish you a most enjoyable event. Thank you.